guys, this is Wendy from Wendelonia, and today I'm going to walk you through my December 2019 Traveler's Notebook. I'm going to start off by talking about the cover. Um, I used for this notebook a uh, Felicity Jane Traveler's Notebook. It's a little bit older. It was really cute. It's white with these big black polka dots. I loved it. And to decorate it, I started off the main decoration is actually from an old Christmas card from a year or two ago. It has this really cute um, image of some dogs driving around in a VW bus with a Christmas tree and some presents on top. And I decided that I wanted to use that to decorate the cover. So I just sort of fussy cut that out and then I cut it in half and glued it to the front. Then I also stamped out December using a set from, stamp set from, um, I don't remember. I'll link it down in the comments, in the description. And then I used a label and I stamped out 2019 on that label. Okay, so let's dive right in. So for this first layout, this is about going to see Frozen with my son, Augie. Um, his brother and his dad really weren't interested in watching it, but we were both really excited. So we went together on a little mother-son date. So um, I don't love this page because I don't think the two sides really mesh together very well, but it's okay, it's fine. So, and also the photos are not very good because it was dark and I had to edit them a lot so you could even see that we were in them. But it was a fun time and I wanted to document it anyway. So I just went ahead with it. So over on this side, I found some snowflake paper and I just cut that to the right size and glued it down and put the photos on, pretty straightforward. And then over here, I did some stamping and I put some die cuts on here. Um, these die cuts, were some old ones I've had around for a long time. And I had played around with them using embossing powder, flocked embossing powder, which I think was from Lawn Fawn. And I put that on there and so they were white and kind of fuzzy, but I wanted it to sort of match the Frozen 2 colors. And so I took some Tim Holtz Distress Ink and a brush and I just brushed on this kind of turquoisey color and this purpley pink color. Then I filled in around it with some little snowflake stamps that are from various just winter and Christmas card stamp sets just for a little bit more. And finally, I stamped out Frozen 2 with some letter stamps and I got this sort of ombre effect by taking that um, word stamp that I, I put together with some letter stamps and I just speckled on different colored inks, so it's this sort of mix of blue and purple. I really like how that turned out. Okay, so for the next page, this is about a hot chocolate bar I put together from, for my kids, a fancy hot chocolate bar. It's something we do at the beginning of pretty much every December. And what, um, let me back up for a second. So I was really lucky this year and I won a Christmas kit from a giveaway by Heba at um, My Little Journal. And this Christmas set was from Feed Your Craft. It's so cute, it has so many cute little options and doodahs in it and stuff. So I, that was primarily what I used on this layout. So the background is some older paper that has hot chocolate cups and it says Mary, and bright and drink and marshmallows and stuff. It's very cute, it fit perfectly. And the colors were actually really a great match with this kit. So I've got a couple pictures of Augie and using one of our fancy mugs. This one was new this year and some pictures of the hot chocolate. And then I used some of the stuff from that kit. So this is a journaling card. This is actually from another journaling card, but I stamped it out, um, not stamped, I punched it out with a round circle cutter and then it just says holiday treats. And I have some puffy stickers on here and it's just cute and simple and came together pretty quickly. All right, so this next one is about um, my son Wyatt and his drama class. So he took a drama class last semester and as the semester was winding up, 
their final project was a performance of the play 12 Incompetent Jurors. So you'll see here, I have a full size um, photo on the page of Wyatt and a couple of his buddies who are also in the play. And the way I printed this was from this excellent tip I learned from Kathy Zilski. I will link that up here in the corner, right there, bing. And you can click over to her page and see her tutorial for how to do this. It basically, I learned that you can print photos as tall as you want, almost, on an Empson PictureMate 400, which is the printer I use at home to print my photos. So in Photoshop, I went ahead and added the logo for the play 12 Incompetent Jurors on there in that black space, and then I printed the whole thing out. So that takes up one side of the page. Then on the other side, I have this picture that um, a kid in Wyatt's class actually drew of him dressed in character as um, the person, the juror he played in the play. I love it, it's so cute. Um, the kid did this because I, um, I paid his way into the play, he wanted to see it and he didn't have any money. And so I said, well, I'll, I'll just treat you to the play. And so he did this as kind of a thank you note. Um, he drew the picture and Wyatt actually liked it so much he wanted to keep it. So instead I took a picture of it and then I printed the picture out um, and I cut a fussy cut around it and put that on there. So this just talks, this is just some straight up handwritten journaling that talks a little bit about that, that whole thing. All right, uh-oh, oh no. Oh no, these stickers are coming off. Well, we'll have to get some glue on those and fix them later. Okay, so this is a layout about making gingerbread houses. Um, uh, we had some friends come over, we had a gingerbread house set up and we just gave it to the kids to kind of go crazy with and set up their gingerbread house. I love how it came out, it was very cute. It was the first time they'd ever done it by themselves and they had a lot of fun. And because we actually sometimes have a problem with ants at our house and so we can't leave a gingerbread house sitting around because it will attract ants. So they finished and then we immediately like let them tear into it and so that's what these pictures are about um the layout i really love it's um it's based on a layout i can't remember whose it was but i'll link it again up there and it's there's a youtube video about it and it's basically these snowy hills and these houses that are cut out of a set from the christmas set from pink fresh studio that are in amongst those snowy hills. And I thought that worked nicely with the gingerbread house. So, and the journaling's just over here. And I have to fix those letters. I don't know why they're not sticking. All right, so this layout is about the same friends. Um, that night was actually the last time we got to see them before they moved away to Iowa. So it was very sad for us, very exciting and a happy thing for them. So. You know, I just wrote goodbye to Malik and Kim, a happy day, and it's happy for them. And we're sad, but we like our friends and we want them to be happy. So this is just a little page about how they left. I use these label stickers. These are all from um, Kelly Perky, and then I just put colorful letters on top of them. All right, so next up is again, I'm using some of the um, stuff from that kit. I won from Feed Your Craft. This is about getting the first Starbucks red cup drinks of the season. And I love it because we were at Target. So you see the red in the background. And then my son happened to be wearing a red t-shirt. So it's very color coordinated. And I swear to you, I did not plan it for the scrapbook page, but it just worked out really nicely. So I have some older polka dot paper. I don't know who that who made it. I really love this pattern though. So I put that down and then I glued the photo and I put a little, um, I taped it down and then I put a little plaid washi tape on there and a little red cup from that kit. And then this is a journaling card from that same kit, which I also taped down. And for the background, I used a stamp to stamp out cozy times, let's stay in. 
all over it. And that's from the stamp set that came with that kit. The ink didn't match as well as I would have liked, but it's good enough and I'm not gonna stress about it. Okay, next up is a baseball layout in the middle of winter. Um, my son signed up for a winter ball practice program, skills program this summer, or this winter. And it's not something he's ever done before. So it, the idea is to kind of refresh his skills before the season starts this spring. So again, I printed one of those full size, um, full size images and I used Photoshop to add the title winter ball on there and of the, of this picture of him in the batting cage. This is some washi tape, baseball washi tape I have, and a little washi, a baseball sticker. And then I just, you know, wrote in some, drew in some lines and wrote in a little journaling about that. Very casual page. Next up, I have this cute photo of my husband and Augie snuggling together on the couch. And they just looked cute, and so I wanted to include it. So I put in some background paper, this big letters that say, so cozy a little really, really old label from Ellie's studio um, that I dug out of my stash and some of those puffy stickers. So. All right, one of the papers that came in this kit was a six by eight that said December snapshots. So I wanted to use it. Obviously it wasn't gonna fit perfectly on one side or the other. So I just cut it down the middle and separated it across the two page. Then I filled in with this beautiful paper from Pink Fresh Studio on the edges just for a little extra. And then I printed my photos to fit inside each of these boxes. So these are just some little decorative touches around our house um, to kind of summarize the season, you know, our wreath. I buy a snow globe every year with the date on it. This is an ornament that Santa brought me in my stocking. This is a picture of my husband's bobblehead. He got a few years ago at one of his jobs. I put a little Santa hat on it. We got these cute little houses and I put artificial candles inside. And then another wreath that we've had for like 20 years or something. So just some setting the tone of what our Christmas decorations look like in our house. Then next, um, I have this photo of the holiday party at my work. Um, I work with my husband, actually, and also with my sister-in-law. Um, and so it was a really fun night because we got to go and have this really fun party with my sister-in-law and her husband, who is my brother-in-law, and our coworkers. And it was a fun date night for us. So the reason I chose the decorations I did was it was in this really cool event space that's entirely paneled in wood. And that sounds cheesy, but it's beautiful. It was amazing. It's like this woodworker lived there for 50 years or something and set it up. So um, I used a wood grain background for this and a wood grained vellum on it and then some gold and some sparkles and stuff like that. It was it's a fun night and I like this page actually. Okay, so here's my other child's performance for December. My son, Augie, was an MC at the school variety show and he and the other MCs um, came up with the idea to wear tuxedo shirts and wear, ride scooters on stage. And it was very cute. They all looked super cool together. And so it was actually Augie's idea to do the tuxedo shirt, so it was kind of fun. And they wrote the script themselves, it was really exciting. So I did some typing with blue ink with my typewriter, and then I cut it out and put it in the strips and added it to the bottom of this page. And then I just stamped out Harding Variety Show in a couple colors of inks and added all these stars. These are all from a Studio Calico stamp set, the stars, and this is from a Kelly Perky. Kelly Perky set. All right, this is my yearly Christmas cuties photo. Every year, I take a picture of my two boys sitting in front of the Christmas tree. Um, I do it every year. It's great to see them all lined up together. There's not much else that needs to be said about this. So I just spelled out Christmas cuties and added a little Santa sticker and moved along. 
All right, we're getting closer to Christmas here, and you can tell because these are our Christmas jammies. So um, I took this photo Christmas Eve. We all had our jammies on. I took a picture and put that in. I added in some puffy stickers from that Feed Your Craft kit, and then I chose a background paper for this size that matched Wyatt's pajamas for the year. And then I took this stamp, I mean, not a stamp, what's this called, a tag. I added a little butcher's twine, and I um, stamped out Christmas Eve in red ink at the top, and movie time and Christmas pajamas at the bottom, because we put on pajamas and watch Christmas movies. And then I added in a few puffy stickers. These stamps are from Ellie's Studio, I'm pretty sure. I'll link those down in the bottom too. All right, Christmas dinner. So this is the second year that I made a prime rib for Christmas dinner. It was so delicious, so yummy. I made homemade mashed potatoes and gravy and a little bit of broccoli. And so this is again one of those things I learned how to curve text in Photoshop. So it says Christmas dinner up here, so delicious down here. And then just a little journaling about the meal. This is actually going back from before Christmas. This is a, um, we had my in-laws over for just a meal and hanging out. They were going away for Christmas. So, um, you know, here are the cousins playing video games and we all passed Santa hats around, even the dog. So I just printed out these little photos and added in these die cuts from that Feed Your Craft kit. This paper is again from the background. It is one of those Pink Fresh Studio ones and I used a similar one for that Christmas details page. That's the same one for that Christmas details page. And then I just added in some die cuts. Then this is, oh, uh, not quite the last page. Um, this is a page that kind of showcases some of the Christmas bento boxes I made for Augie as we got closer to the season. This is from a Carrie Bradford Traveler's Notebook digital template set. It had the photo boxes all set and I just dropped in the photos of the bentos and then there was text around the edge that I just filled in where I talked a little bit about um, what I did with those bento boxes. And then on this side, I used one of the papers from that Feed Your Craft kit. It's actually gifts, but the way it was divided, I thought it kind of looked like bento boxes. So I put that down and then I put in a little journaling card that said, Merry Everything, Festive, a Happy Always. And I just thought that kind of fit with the page. Okay, and now this is the last page in the book. And it's so chunky, it's almost hard to open with pictures from Christmas morning. So I had another one of those Carrie Bradford templates with the dates set in. So I put in December 25th and then I dropped in little photos of us opening gifts and having a fun time on Christmas morning. Over here, I used this snow globe paper, which is so cute. And then I took a snow globe die cut and I put the journaling in there. And that is my December 2019 Traveler's Notebook. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm glad you stuck around to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, you might wanna consider subscribing. I would appreciate it if you did. All right, thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.